Why isn't your book 99% true available in high resolution audio? <laughs> this question comes from Chris in Toronto, Canada. And Chris writes, I think a little tongue in cheek, Paul, I noted with some concern the absence of high res formats for your new audio book. I would be willing to buy it even though I'm not much of a nonfiction reader, but only if it's made available in DSD. If bandwidth is an issue, you could always use MQA. <laughs> it goes without saying, but I'll voice anyway the expectation that this audiobook recording has been mastered in the new Octave Studios with <laughs> four times DSD using Tim Diaparavincini's modified microphones uh, with unobtainium cables and full power regeneration for all the lamps used to light your reading script. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I, I know that was a bit tongue in cheek, and and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll I won't I won't bore you too much with all this. I, I did want to address it because more than a few people have asked that very question: um, Why didn't I release the book in CD format, uh, and and why not in DSD? Since I, you know Gus and I are such huge advocates of DSD, everything in Octave Records which is where we're in, is the studio here, will be recorded on the Sonoma system in DSD, uh, and, and copies will be made to PCM, but they will all be DSD-based. And originally, when I recorded my audio book, I, I thought a lot about doing it in DSD, and Gus came up here and beat me over the head and said, you got to do it in DSD. You're crazy. I mean, this is, you know, you're an audiophile. This is an audio company. We have the studio. We have the microphones. Why? You, and and I, the, the truth is, well, the truth is multifold, as, as most things are. First off, the distribution of audiobooks has changed so dramatically that almost nobody releases them in CD form anymore. And as far as DSD, I can't imagine anybody, and I know this is tongue in cheek, but just, just saying, I, I can't imagine anybody putting you know, me or any other audio book onto a high resolution audio system and listening to it. I just don't think that happens. The reason people did CDs for, for so many years, and I've listened to a number of audio books on CD, is in the car. Most cars, many cars, have CD players, and you take your book and you pop it into the car and go on your trip. I I've done that numerous times. But most modern cars have the ability to connect your phone to it. Uh, I, I mean, it's rare I see a car today that you can't connect up your phone to the car and listen to it. Plus, in the distribution models, which are mostly now, let's, let's face it, owned pretty much by Amazon. And where we went, Audible, Amazon, same sort of thing. They don't offer the ability to sell on CDs, not, not to my knowledge, anyway. So as much as I wanted to do it, as much as Gus begged me to do it, and he, Gus mastered the book. So if you do get a copy of 99% uh, True in the audio book, of which I labored for nearly two months to make, it was all mastered right here, and Gus did a terrific job, but it is MP3, I know, but it sounds pretty good <laughs> for MP3. Anyway, thank you for the question. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to, to audio tomorrow. Okay, talk to you later.